So with DigiClone receiving a few changes within the latest July 23rd update regarding a bug where it interacted with certain weapons and said weapons scaled multiple times damage wise I thought I'd go ahead and test the after effects of this patch to see if anything feels different with Zane and that DigiClone. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring another BR3 video, if you do enjoy it leaving a like, it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So Zane's Digiclone went from zero to hero with literally a couple of patches and we were left with without doubt one of the best action skills in the game across all Vault Hunters, definitely in my opinion the best on Zane. Now it was buffed or changed to a stage now where we're seeing it capable of crazy crazy things to a point where many Zane mains are expecting a nerf as it is that good and me included I do expect a nerf for this sometime or another. Within the July 23rd patch we saw a couple of changes to the way in which certain weapons work with that digi clone. They really didn't go into many details of how said changes affect the clone but they do mention the OPQ system and where they said the following. We addressed a bug where the operative's digiclone was interacting with certain weapons like the OPQ system in a way that received a mayhem damage scaling multiple times. They also mentioned the following, addressed some concerns that the gunner and operative were experiencing unintentional levels of damage increase with a variety of class mods in mayhem mode. Again, exact details of what's happening and the changes here were left out. So I decided to test the clone out using my Lazy Zane build, which basically concentrates on the Digi clone. And I built this around the basis of allowing the player to be lazy and take a back seat and let that Digi clone do all the work. Which, in my opinion, is definitely one of the best clone builds you will find. And trying this out with OPQ system on this build, as I said, the changes have been applied to this weapon. And the way it affects and works with the digi clone i wanted to try it out now i can 100 percent feel the difference here the weapon with the clone just doesn't hit as hard as it once did and if i'm honest looking at all the footage of what the opq system did in the hands of the digi clone it was kind of crazy i do think right now it feels probably how it should be in regards to other weapons though to be honest i don't see or feel much of a difference at all in regards to damage output and that is a great great thing people, it means in reality not much of the clone has changed that I can see or feel anyway, especially with my lazy zane build and the setup I use here. So although I thought going into this video I was going to bring bad news and I thought the video was going to be much longer in my testing, but if I'm honest it really isn't and doesn't need to be. The digital clone is still as good as ever in reality and well I don't know what else to say. Now if you are new around here and this is the first time you've seen this build in action, it's my lazy zane build like I mentioned earlier, which you will find a link to in the video description if you do want to check it out. Now I know other Vault Hunters did pick up a few changes within the latest patch. Now because I main Zane, I really haven't tested them out or feel I'm in a position to properly do that as I rarely use them prior. But if you do and you have felt a difference, let me know down below in that comment section people. But for now, the Digiclone is still as amazing as ever. Now I will leave you to watch what this uh, Digiclone build can do, the Lazy Zane Digiclone build. And this is post patch people, post July 23rd patch, so you can see what it is capable of. Again, this build can be found linked within that video description. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
Hurry! You can still look at me! Shot at. Need some personal space! Ugh! <laughs> 